Hi everyone, at long last I get to do a video talking about the Assault Gunboat, the Alpha Class Starwing as it's being termed for uh, Wave 12 for the X-Wing Miniatures game. This is probably one of the most demanded toys for any miniatures game in a long time. I mean people are going to talk about wanting to bring squats back and those people are wrong. We do not want squats back. That's complete tangent for Games Workshop fans, but no more squats. But a, a assault gunboat, the thread last time I looked at it was like 700,000. It's just massive people talking about this since it comes initial game release. And I I was on board with that. I played um, X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter a lot when I was younger, and it was one of those classic Imperial ships. Probably more... And you guys should know by now how much I love a TIE Defender, but the gunboat filled that role of a, a heavy fighter with shields and everything. It's not as quick as a Defender, doesn't have all of its fancy gadgets and stuff, but it was just a nice solid ship and really enjoyed flying it in X-Wing and I wanted to fly it in the game. And here we go. So I've ranted enough about how exciting this is. So we're going to get right into uh, the article. So, Indiscriminate Fire is the latest one. Obviously, they did do the Wave 12 spoiler, which we will reference for a couple of bits and pieces, just as we try and enclose it all. But um, we can see the awesome model, or is the nice rotating picture. Oh, So, I think they've done a really good job on the model for it as well. It's just not quite... The, like shuttle size, it's still a small base ship, but it keeps that feel and keep, it does tie in with the Imperial faction in that way. And obviously, you can see where, with a typical X Wing fashion, we get the Star Wing name from. And then we can go in, and I scrolled past the dial quickly. They do talk about it, obviously, referencing the VT 49 Decimator, um, like the X Wing dial as well, is all pretty similar. There's relatively good amount of green on it, a lot of white, no K turns. But as we get into the article later on, obviously looking at the slam action, this dial is going to be good enough, I feel, especially when we get onto the titles. Um, I just, let's just go over there. We don't want to wait. So we have two different titles. You can load it out to be um, a missile boat, um, ordnance, which is the... Um, OS1 Arsenal loadout. And let's see if I can bring up a bigger picture. No, not really. So that is your upgrade bar gains the torpedo and missile upgrade icons. You may perform <laughs> attacks with torpedoes and missile secondary weapons against ships that you have warped, even while you have a weapons disabled token. That's a bit of a running theme. We look at the, uh, the cannon title as well, which is the uh, XG-1 Assault configuration. Uh, your upgrade bar gains two cannon upgrade icons. We'll get to that later. And you may fire a cannon secondary weapon that costs two or fewer points while you have a weapon disabled token. So you get to swam around and shoot a lot of stuff. Uh, I'll try and find a card so we can reference it. Obviously, we have um, swam action. We also have a reload action, which they did spoil in the previous article. So we have jam tokens and reload action. Uh, ships with a reload icon in the action bar may perform a reload action. To reload, choose any number of a ship's equipped discarded <laughs> torpedo or missile upgrade cards and then flip them face up. Then assign a ship a weapons disabled token. Doesn't matter, you can still fire it as long as you've got your target locked. So homing missiles, don't spend a target lock. Really good, really good with this. We're gonna, gonna get the and um we've got the fact that you can obviously slam around firing your cannons in the article, wrong page. In the article we look at like Fushet cannons, um two points or less. And I'm a big fan because it's one of those cannons that I've I've always stood by. I like a mix of Ion and Fouchette when we were talking about different control builds a while ago. And I feel like just that little bit of stress control can get sprinkled in any any squad. It's not like a massive thing, but it just it just helps with that little bit of control. And 
It's not going to be your main damage piece if you're going to use it in this way, but we start to get consistency, especially when we look at, where have you gone, the linked battery upgrade. Um, two points and a cannon upgrade, small ship only, limited, so you can't put it on the Starwing, take two linked batteries and re-roll both dice. But yeah, when attacking with a primary weapon or a secondary weapon, you may re-roll one attack die. B-Wings are really going to like this, by the way, because you get a Predator, effectively, or um, on all of your B-Wings shooting, two points. Better than fire control system? Probably. Um, just because it works on every shot, you don't need to broadcast your targeting. So I'm happy with that. Um, really going to be good on B-Wings. Um, small ship only, so you can't put it on the aggressor. Um, oh, sorry, the IGs, because obviously with the tie aggressor existing now, people get confused. But um, loads of fun stuff on this ship. I think it's going to be really good. Um, is it going to be meta changing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I don't care. I I don't. I can't get excited about X Wing in that way anymore. Um, there's lots of changes with. I think. The old FAQ rumor has definitely been confirmed now for the uh, what's it gone? Was the exit advanced slam card I saw? Oh no, I'm going to lost it, haven't I? I should have bookmarked it. Change over. Oh no, I'm going to have to find it. Where are you? Where are you? Advanced slam. There it is. Uh, after performing a song action, if you did not overlap, yeah. So uh, the change in that FAQ rumor uh, is confirmed on this card. I can't remember if I spoke about this already. It's probably old news to people, but it, it's there in print. Uh, it looks like there is new stuff with the jamming beam um, and the inclusion of the jam tokens with the, the jam symbol on it from Epic, but it's got different rules, so... Um, worlds of changes seem to be coming in this wave and as much as I can't get excited about like current meta X-Wing I don't think that that's relevant to this stuff because I feel like uh, with the announcement that both waves are going to arrive simultaneously this is just going to be fun we've had a fix to a seek we've had all of the um, most wanted x not most wanted guns for hire um, coming out all of that stuff. I feel like there's massive scope for the game to just evolve back into the fun, more casual, just playing Star Wars ships. And that's what this ship is to me, because I grew up on X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter and it's one of the core ships of that game. So I'm really excited about it. Um, Build-wise, it's probably going to be... <sighs> Not necessarily like the flank. Well, the aggressor was more of a flanking ship. This is going to be my meat of the list. Throw it down the middle and just try and do some funky stuff with it. And just be an aggressive fighter. And I do like playing that aggressive play style. As we look with... Um, where is it gone? The different options with your slam. And especially when you've got a three hard turn in there um, on the dial. You can do some really aggressive flying with it. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to ever put um, an engine upgrade on this as well and do the, um, the slam push the limit engine upgrade and just really move around. But I think that's probably far too gimmicky to ever be useful. <laughs> but it's, it's not going to stop me trying it a little bit. Um, the characters we've had spoiled... Looks like the uh, Power Skill 7 guy is your top level. You can have VI take him up to Power Skill 9, and it's 26 points. So still relatively cheap when you consider this is the highest level pilot for the ship. You're going to load, load it up with upgrades, so it is going to get more expensive. But when defending, if you have a weapon disabled token, roll one additional defense die. When you consider stuff like advanced slam and maybe even a full shot cannon. You can get this guy slamming every turn, still shooting, and it becomes an agility three ship. So with decent amount of hit points, agility three could be pretty cool. I think again, I like 
going all in on something at the moment that's been more i think i did a video a while back about not doing too you know going too far down a rabbit hole with my gimmicks but this is a little bit different i don't really want to mess around trying to make it a more agility friendly ship i'd even look at just doing the basic one i like like with this build that we talk about 23 points for um cannon and link battery it's a, a nice little stress machine just pump out those shots and it's annoying you you're gonna deal with it it doesn't really change its like its damage output isn't nerfed that much because it's only a primary two but you're basically spending five points to to make it be able to shoot after it swims and apply stress so i think that could be interesting and it's less than 25 so it does give you scope to upgrade more ships i don't know that it would go into a four ship list yet um, as in you can't get three really good aces and this but you could do two powerful aces and this guy running around just being annoying a couple of hit points people try and chase it you get to try and swim away if people are trying to focus on it you can take up good positions get behind them and just do just do fun flying stuff with it so yeah i'm excited for this wave um this is probably the, the ship i'm looking forward to the most out of it just because of the the history it has with me and having flown it in x-wing versus tie fighter and all the different options it's going to be good fun even building lists with it is going to be fun so let's see what you guys think. Are they missing any awesome builds? Any new rules or anything you want to talk about? Get Hit me up in the comments. I'll get back on to responding a little bit quicker. And yeah, make sure you like the video, follow the channel, um, subscribe, all the good stuff. Find me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. And yeah, thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you on the next one.